Is that bar strong enough? <laughs> it's only like one inch. So on a scale of one to wrong, how's it gonna go? This is legit. <laughs> right, who's getting what? I don't want to be an either. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll get in this thing. one. Okay. Yeah? Oh, is the key not in it? I think the key should be in it. Well, it don't look like it. No, like, on the, look, yeah, it's look. So. Oh yeah, that's where everyone puts the key. And then, okay. just start it. <laughs> You're gonna crash. How am I doing? It's gonna be very close. Okay, lock the other way. The faster you go, the easier it is to steer. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Great. We're back on the second channel. It's a little bit different to the main channel. You might have been getting used to it by now. It's a little bit raw, it's uncut, and we film on an iPhone not the main camera and we just basically give you an insight on what's going on behind the scenes of the main channel and today we've got my Merchel Argo which we feel we need to do a nice walk round because we zip over a lot of things on the main channel. Chris is behind the camera, he's going to give his opinions on it as well. I don't even know where to start, we just pulled it here with the C63. I think we start the inside. The start inside. The I don't inside. think anyone's seen the inside properly yet. I'm not like. Okay. I feel yeah, like the yeah, inside yeah. So let's, is. Let's go both you go hop in the other seat. The other seat that's not there. That's the one. I'll go just put some panels back on. Okay. Nice. There we go. Does that talk to spec? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The inside, which hopefully in tomorrow's video on the main channel, you'll see us start stripping and finding God knows what in here. But it's absolutely disgusting. If this is the first time you tuned in and find out what's going on with this Mercer Lager, then you'd know that. We bought this from a track experience place and it's just been thrashed to high heaven for, well, it's been off the road for seven years, but it's been a track experience car for I've got God knows how long. And the interior is very green. Why, it, do you, why do you reckon it stinks? Yeah, it just Do you reckon sweats. that's from people bobbing themselves around the track? I think just sweat. Yeah, that it's, it's musty. Sweat, it? I just wiped that bit back there for me. Just do a finger line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. There's just bits missing. That's the other thing as well. There's bits missing everywhere because it's been a track experience car. There's just, I don't even know what that's for. That's how dusty the windscreen is and we've just left it how it was since we picked it up. But the thing that I like, we've actually still got the original Lamborghini head unit and the climate control and that still says Lamborghini on it. It does. Yeah, I don't know. You know, you know what? Sit in that seating okay. position. Okay. Okay. Because everyone says that the Mercer Largo seating positions are a bit funny. Okay, well, the clutch is really light. I'm just saying, like, that's my <laughs> first interpretation. <laughs> the There's no clutch. Oh, yeah. Let's shut these. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know about, someone's hit, trapped something in the door a few times there. Um, I bet it's the seatbelt. Oh, the seatbelt is all the way yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's another thing on the Mercer Lager. Seatbelt's still all the way over Okay, Mike. What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I know what that is. Yeah, there's a cable. Oh, yeah, there's a cable all wound. We'll, we'll get onto that. But. Okay, my door doesn't close. Oh, yeah, there's no <laughs> dashboard in there. Everyone knows about that on the main channel because, well, no instrument cluster. We're trying to get that fixed because somebody actually started this thing up with the battery terminals jumped the wrong way around. Oh, touch the button. I don't think I want to. What's that, what's that brown bit? <laughs> oh my God. I'll, I'll go for this one. Touch it. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, mate, that's grim. I've still got something on my finger. Oh, so that must be nose lift. That's got to be your nose lift. That's got to be your wings out. <laughs> yeah, wings out. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> what's this one? Chatch control, mirrors. mirrors. Yeah. This is your gears. So that's you, suspension. You press that button for second, that one for third. Yeah, or you put your finger in. Oh no, that must be this here. Up, oh, you can gear, actually up see. Up down a gear, automatic. And there's the floor. That feels good quality. It smells so it bad, does, doesn't yeah. it? And then the steering, the seat belts. Oh. Oh, oh, oh it's duct taped in though. That's yeah. good though. I think Lamborghini. Good. That. Yeah. Oh, what's under that? I don't think that's maybe. Oh, it is supposed to come up. So I'm missing something in here then. 175 mean. That's broken, isn't it? That's the, the amount of thousands of pounds it's gonna cost you to fix this car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 175. Oh, mate, I just touched it. It's, yeah. It smells really bad. Well, I can't wait is. to get it out. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so seating position you were saying. That is a, an Evo steering wheel, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's really, I used to have a VX220 and it's very, very similar to that. Yeah, that's well. quite cool. And my knees are literally scraping it. Let's try and get me in the driving position. Yeah, that's car. the driving position. I haven't got a seat in here. Oh, oh, the seats are safe. So <laughs> that, um, that, 
that Vin Ricky guy has actually moved his seat because he's so tall we can't drive him. Oh. So like he's moved his seat out so he can drive it with no seat. What guy? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, it's not actually the most uncomfortable the thing. The throttle pedal is like a bit high. If that makes sense. Like that's my clutch, clutch leg all the way down, and then throttle leg, throttle, throttle. You're okay. Accelerator leg all the way down. <laughs> like my knees like still feel, still feels really high. I'm just trying to work out what's going on down here. Fuses and stuff. There we are. Yeah, so like, I'm stretched out there, and this is with no seat. Oh! What have you just touched? Oh, and it's like... Is it leaking? It's sweating. I don't know. That's poop. Why are we sitting in it? I don't oh, know. It's got fuel button, folding mirror button, and that's your view out the back, not much. And there's normally would be an engine in there, but there's What's not. That? Immobiliser. Yeah. What about these? Uh, hooks for your shirt. So, oh. oh, what is that? Is it a hook for you? Yeah, yeah it, it is, is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I think the plan for this is probably to get rid of a lot of the green in here because it's a bit. I feel like I'm about like... to play five aside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit astroturfy. It's a bit. But yeah, we're going to get rid of a lot of the green. I think. I think anyway. you've got to go one or two ways. You've either got to add more green or take it away. Yeah. It either needs green headlining, dash, everything like that. <laughs> Just go full Just green. Full green. No, I maybe think... multiple shades of green as well. This is help. definitely going to come out like. It's got to come out. But the door cards look all right, but we're going to be changing them. Yeah, you got some today. Yeah, we got some. Okay, let's, uh, let's go outside. I thought I got stuck in this car before because obviously the doors go up. I'm sat in there trying to open the door that way and it didn't open and I thought I was stuck in it. Uh, about 15 minutes down the line, I realised that the doors go up. and Did that you was to ring your dad? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I climbed out the window. But this is it. I mean, it... It looks a mess. I'm dying to know what's um, going to be under this carbon wrap because the badge looks legit. This. Yeah, there's a fake Lamborghini badge on. Actually, six foot four as well. That's pretty impressive, then, really. Yeah, so it's actually quite a big boot. That is. Go for it. You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, but the actual bodywork of it. Touch wood is not too bad. I mean, this still needs a bit of work, but like, there's no dents or anything like that, but we've yet to find out what exactly is underneath the wrap because this is the only piece of wrap we've peeled off so far, and that looks like a lot of filler. The wheels are questionable. I uh, don't know who's painted them. Centre cap missing. Chris's mate's got that. Um, Tyres have gone. Definitely think we'll be replacing them, but this probably has got to be one of the worst conditions Mercia Largo's has not crashed. That's not crashed, yeah, that's not crashed. Um, apparently the steel brakes on these are pretty bad, so gonna have to be looking at like either upgrading them, maybe carbon ceramics, I don't even know how much that's gonna cost. Apparently these look like they're out of a Focus Mark 1. Isn't it? So you can probably put like some Golf R brakes on. <laughs> <laughs> just think, you know, when this wrap comes off, like, I just think the whole thing's gonna be primer, because like... You reckon like... The tiny little yeah. teasers we've got, like it's not... It's not looking good, bro. And one thing that you may notice is, I'm going to hand Chris the camera. We're going to be doing something special with this. So, here's Chris. Thanks. Here's the key for the Mercer Lago. We actually got two of these keys. And right now, if we turn the key, nothing happens, of course, because <laughs> there's no engine in there. So there's no engine in there. So if you've been watching the main channel, we're rebuilding the engine to put in there and the first turn of the key is going to be very exciting, which is why we have made these new t-shirts. Yes, give save... us a spin, give us a spin. Oh, Whoa, save, save the, the manuals. manuals. So we're saving the manuals. This is V12 manual, of course. They're a dying breed. Chris is wearing one, one as well. I Check thought it, it was out. Like save the instruction manuals though. No, no, no. Oh, it, okay, that right. gear stick's a, ah. a clue. But yeah, Thanks save the manuals and then on yeah. that we've got the MA and then a six speed manual, gated manual. And the special thing we're doing about these is if you buy one of these, you're automatically gonna be entered in to do the first turn of the key. So somebody's gonna be coming down who's bought one of these to turn the key for the first time when we rebuild the engine, which is gonna be very nerve wracking. But it doesn't matter where you are, we'll get you down here. Chris has already entered in quite clearly because he's got a, uh, I can't wait. On. I think I'm going to win. I don't know how long it's going to be until we turn the key, but be sure to go grab one of these with a the link in the description. But I'm pretty excited about that. Can we just demonstrate how that's going to look? Let's just... Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you come down here. 
Well, let's uh, put this back Let's just on. pretend there's an engine in there. Yeah, oh, that t-shirt looks phenomenal. Thanks. Right, okay, so you get in, get a big crowd. Yeah, yeah, we'll get everyone around there. And then we'll be like, right. Then the classical music kicks in. You get this key, you get in and we're like, right. Insert name here. Would you like to do the honours? Let's do the key and then you put it in. Hannah, insert Mercial Argo sound starting now. And they go, chick, 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 chick. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah! And the whole crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's turbo as well. Yeah, yeah, it's turbo now. <laughs> and that's exactly what's going to happen. That's going to be a phenomenal day. What happens though if it doesn't start? I don't want to put like a negative light on it, but like what's going to happen? Come back for the second time. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah, like you get a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to start regardless. We, it's, we're in They're staying no until it starts. It. Okay. No about it. Um, yeah, I think we've covered a lot of stuff on here. One thing I did want to say is the suspension on this side. They've got like a kind of mag ride on, which is adjustable. And you probably, no, you probably won't be able to see, but it's leaking like hell on the front. So that's not good. Uh, so the suspension is probably going to have to be changed. Um, I'm thinking, oh yeah, look, let me show you on the back. So on the back, obviously because this car was track experience car and because it got taken apart seven years ago, there's so many parts which have been missed and like left and no one knows where they are. One thing that's missing is this top grill of the Marshall Lago there. So I was looking for the top grill and then I stumbled upon a new bumper. No, you didn't. I did, I did. I'm gonna have to show Should it. Should have a look? Yeah. There it is, a full, LP640 bumper, which is loads better. And for £3,950, I didn't actually think it was that bad. No, that's all right. And then you get the actual cutout for the exhaust rather than the two exhausts that you have on the uh, Mercer Largo. It doesn't cost that much, you can sell that bumper. So. Yeah, and then you can sell, because that is a complete bumper, really. But yeah, I think it's looking all right. C63's over there, Chris's BMW's over there. You've seen them in the previous video and your BMW on yeah, yeah, Martin, your channel. Down there, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, hopefully we've covered a lot of things that you probably wouldn't have seen on the main channel already on this. But right now we're actually going to start pushing it in there and starting to de-wrap this thing, which is going to be very interesting to say the least. One thing I forgot to mention as well, you're probably wondering where the engine is. Well, the engine is here. We've got the complete bottom end uh, with the pistons in and the comrades and everything like that, ready to go in. The crankshaft is next to go in this thing. But that's looking okay. We've got one cylinder head over here, which is incomplete at the minute. We've got to put all the shims in the bottom and put all the cam caps on. Then that's actually ready to bolt on to that with the head gasket. Here's another head, which is ready. All the valves have been uh, ground in. They're looking quite nice as well. Uh, all the cam caps here. Uh, oil um, pump. Oil pump is there, ready. And oil strainer, which we had to buy, that was missing. We got the sump. And one annoying thing that I kind of forgot, well, what I wanted to do is clean up the engine so it looks nice and sparkly and everything. And I've kind of missed that opportunity at the minute because, well, I can't really clean it up with all the pistons in. So I'm going to build the, uh, well, I'm going to pretty much build most of the engine up. Then we're going to clean it up ourselves um, and paint it and make it look as nice as we can without it being stripped to pieces because it's going to be, Pretty difficult to do that um, with that, but try and make it look the best we can. Over here, we've got a bunch of parts. We've got the gearbox. We're going to be taking this gearbox apart as well because we're unsure on how good this gearbox is actually going to be. Like the synchros in it might just be absolutely mashed up because, well, obviously it's been around the track for God knows how long. The back, this is a back box. Have you seen this? Oh, yeah, Jesus. The size of the back box is absolutely huge. That's just going to go. We're getting rid of that. And then the exhaust tips, and you've seen these exhaust tips. Let me show you these. Can I say chances on these working? Not a chance. Not a hope in hell. So this is the back box, and they're supposed to end there, like the tips. Right. And they're rolled on these because it was a track car, and this car is obviously insanely loud. Oh, uh, so yeah. The noise regulation. But well, actually, they're not rolled on, they're bolted on, but I mean, that is. Rusted to it may as well be welded now. They're the valves, as you mentioned, they're probably... They're past best. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not moving, so that's all right off. So you definitely need an exhaust lifting. Um, got all the crank house in, that's sticky for some reason. Cali converters, 
they might end up disappearing. And There's just someone that keeps robbing them around here, isn't there? Yeah. Crankshaft. We only have one throttle body, which is really annoying as well. These throttle bodies are £1,700 each, and they're supposed to be four, so this could be a big issue, but they're actually the same on the early Gallardo as they are on the Mercia Lago, so we might be able to get a little bit cheaper of a deal, but we're far from putting this on at the minute. There's still a lot to do. Uh, diff, rear diff, and then a bunch of other parts that we've not really looked at yet. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's stress, but we will get there. There is an end to this all. When? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice little update, and I guess I'll catch you in the next video. Could be your alpha, could be your Romeo. Tell them boys back up, I ain't going nowhere. I'm afraid that back up, put it on your story. So what your friends see, everyone can see. And we're going and going.